Hello everybody, welcome back to Babble Sheep, where I talk about things because, you know, people like that. So I went back, finally got a new, a new gym membership at a third of the price of my old one, which I am so stoked about. Oh, yeah, you're going down. No, you're going down. And it's only a mile away from me. And even without a car, which is what I started doing, I've gone twice now. And both times, uh, I just like walk, jog, ran my way home after my workout. I hate that my um, body... Um, I hate that my body does things like this, man. Like, in I was at about 250, working out six days a week, losing weight, you know, gaining muscle, watching myself, doing all this stuff. And then, lo and behold, I don't go to the gym for a simple six weeks. Not a very long time. Some people don't go to the gym for six months. I'm at like 280 pounds now. 285 pounds now. I mean, think about it. just I just packed on weight like crazy out of, for no reason. A month and a half, you can pack on like 30 or 40 pounds. It, it really, it blows my mind. I'm so mad. There has to be some kind of solution that's permanent for my body. And no liposuction is an answer. No, I'm not getting a lap band because all of the... I want long-term. It's aggravating how hard it is and how anything that I do aside from that is, like, detrimental to... It just... It affects my body so heavily. Uh, work has had their first... Um, Conspiracy. Um, when I can say conspiracy, I mean they're like conspiring against us. Because I'll tell you what, people don't like people in authority, and they especially don't like people who are being trained to be in authority. Like, oh my goodness, if you talk with any kind of leadership to, to some people, they hate you. Because I was introduced as my, my assistant manager's replacement. Like, that's what they said. And... <laughs> One of the, it, it took like three weeks for that to sink in. Uh, and some, one of them asked me if I was going to be like, are you, are you going to be our boss? Like, are you going to be like a manager? I said, yeah. I was like, we've been saying that since I got here. What is wrong with you? And she's like, no, you lie. You lie. And I was like, I was like, do you think I'd be a bad boss or a good boss? Like, you know, be honest. And she's like, she's like, well, I like you. <laughs> so funny. She said, it, she said it like it was so bad. And then uh, it's like, oh, no, everything's fine. I can't do Dark Souls anymore. I can't. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe there will be a day where I can come back to it. But I took like three weeks off and I still can't do it. Yeah, I was having fun recording with Orange Sheep, so... So, I don't care if it has zero views. A, I'm having fun getting through the game. And B, uh, I, like, I like the bonding time. I like the time we get to spend together and, like, really learn how to, like, communicate and bounce off of each other little ideas and comedy stuff. And I think she's pretty funny. She entertains me all the time. It's so funny to me because there are so many things that uh, that Orange Sheep says that I absolutely laugh at, like, during editing but not during the process of like getting <laughs> of recording it because somewhere in my mind I'm told I totally get lost and when I'm when I'm recording and it happened is so funny cuz I thought it might have been like just her it totally happened on a cup for the journey like um, my buddy Jose that you guys may have seen on the live stream he said something really really funny and I missed it totally oblivious 
don't know. I guess my, my, my mind is in a whole different world. 